Hi everybody, this is Josh with a video on Gravit Designer. In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the primitive shapes or smart shapes available in Gravit Designer. So here's the tool menu that we're focusing on in this video. It's indicated with just the square icon here in the toolbar with a drop down arrow to find more shapes. And you can also see some of the most frequently used ones have keyboard shortcuts associated with them. L for line, R for rectangle, E for an ellipse. Let's start with the line. I'm going to click and drag, and we have a line. Over here, we can change the width of our border, which gives us a thicker line on our canvas. This is just a line. There's no fill. There's no shape. We could use the subselect tool, which is D on the keyboard, and create a bend in this line by just clicking and dragging on the line segment. We can click on one point of this line and grab the handle to change the curve. And we can manipulate that line just like putty. You can still use all of your effects like blur. You can blur that line until it's almost nothing. But that's pretty basic. It's just a line segment. Let's go ahead and delete that. Next, we have the rectangle, which is R on the keyboard. I'm going to hold Shift to draw a perfect square. Now we can change the fill of this square to something we can see a little bit better. Now the rectangle is also where you're going to find rounded rectangles because what we have is a radius for our corners. And it's just a slider, which makes this so easy to adjust. We also have granular controls to be able to input a precise number so that we could have the same radius on different shapes on our canvas. So they could all share the same radius for the degree of roundedness on our corners. So say we wanted it to be 75. I could type that in, hit enter. Even if I drew a long rectangle here, I'll go over to my corner radius, type in 75. And you see we have the same corner radius there. I love the way that you can create rounded rectangles all with one tool. Next up, we have the ellipse tool. The keyboard shortcut is E for this tool. We can select that. And this, of course, will create an ellipse or an oval. We can also hold down Shift to create perfect circles. Now, the reason I call these smart shapes is that, as you can see over in the layers panel, we actually have a different icon and name for these than any shape that we created, for example, with the pen tool. With the pen tool, we're creating paths. The ellipse is a shape which is different than a regular path. You can see here, we can change this to a, a pie, a, a closed semicircle or an open semicircle and we can change the angle by typing in here a specific number if we use the sub select tool on the ellipse shape or any of these smart shapes you can see we have these little red or, or orange colored dots that give us the ability to change those angles on the canvas by clicking and dragging so this would be a way to create a pie graph or a pie shape for whatever you wanted to create it for, maybe a slice of pizza or a wedge of cheese or Pac-Man. And these are all non-destructive edits. If I come all the way back around or change my angles up here both to zero, I have my perfect circle once again. Now, any of these smart shapes can be converted to raw paths under the modify menu go to paths and then we can convert to path or convert to raw path and once we do that you see our sub select tool now works just like if we were changing the shape on a path that we created with the pen tool now we can mold this piece like clay rather than getting those non-destructive features of the ellipse tool so over in the appearance panel that actually changes once we convert that to a raw path 
Then we have the polygon, triangle, and star. And these essentially all work the same way, just achieving different results. So let's create a polygon. I can change the number of points all the way down to a triangle. I can change the corner radius, rounding out those corners. Likewise, with a triangle, it's basically the same shape because I can add points, which gives me a polygon, and I can change the corners. It just starts as a triangle. With the star, again, I can change the number of points all the way down to just a triangle. But I can also change the size, which actually changes the shape into a star. And then again, I have the corner radius. Over in the Layers panel, these are all considered polygons because they are. The star is really the only one that has the added slider giving you control over turning those points into the points of a star. Again, if I go to my Subselect tool, I can grab these reddish-orange handles and change not only the depth of those points on the star, but also the direction. So I can create some very interesting shapes. Again, this is non-destructive until I convert it to a raw path. On the triangle, you can see that I can do the same thing and on the polygon as well. Some really powerful features in Gravit Designer. With my star selected, if I go to Modify, Path, I can convert that to a path. Then my subselection tool works just as if this was a normal path. And I can edit those points as well as create curves on those line segments. These are some powerful features that allow you to create some very complex shapes right inside your web browser. Hit subscribe for more videos like this coming up. And if this was helpful, make sure you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.